there and welcome to Gaining Vision with Melanie Tanya Marlow. Do you know what I love most about a spa? It's the estheticians, the ladies that pamper you, that really get to know you. And I'm here today with Eunice and she works at Sheridan Spa, Sheridan Hotel Spa. Mm -hmm. So Eunice, can you introduce yourself a little bit about you and how you got into this work? Hi, my name is Eunice and uh, I work here at Sheraton Hotel Beauty Spa. I actually came here as a student to come and do my practicals. And then from there, they needed someone else, you know, to do the reception in, and then I took it from there. Thanks. And, yeah. And you focus <laughs> on manicures, pedicures, and massage. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes, we do that as well. So for the manicure, we actually just do like on your own nails. We prefer on your own nails because it's much healthier for the nails, mm -hmm. you see. And then for the massages, yeah, it's pretty nice. And we're <laughs> in a nice little quiet room where you can be pampered. But the one thing that I always enjoy about having either a massage or your nails or your pedicure done is the girl talk. You get to just chit chat and pass the breeze. Mm -hmm. So you and I were just having a little bit of a conversation before the video. And we were showing you one of the conversations that I had with a young lady yes. talking about wanting to marry a white man. Mm -hmm. And you said, you too. So please explain why. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> well, I say that I would, I would want to marry a white you know, because of my kids, you know, because sometimes you have to, you have to think about your kids, you know, and I love kids who have like really nice, silky, long hair. Mm -hmm. So I know that if I'm a black lady, beautiful black lady, yes. and I have like a white man, then definitely my child is going to be like, oh, colorish or, you know, mixed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nice. And they're beautiful children. <laughs> and they're beautiful children too. <laughs> okay, but let's have honesty here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever dated a white man? Ah. Okay, so what is our experiences with black men? It's okay. It's fine. Okay. No, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. they, they are, there's a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like every other girl that faces, you know, problems. Yeah. Some of them, they take advantage or they use you because you love them. You mm -hmm. know, you go with it you go with it because you love them you don't actually say it i had an experience for myself that things were going so wrong in my relationship and i didn't uh notice it until it got so much that i said no let me speak to my sister about it i told her the incidences and she was like how are you still with the same yes. person like and i said no it's because i love him he's like no open your eyes and see that's when i opened and i'm like all these incidences were showing me that he didn't care at all. Mm. This, the much love that I had for him was not as much love that he had for me. You see, that's when I started thinking, you know what, man, maybe I should just change. Um, <laughs> you know, they do Go. say love is blind, love right? Love is blind, and exactly. it's so true because we have our blinders on because we are so in love that mm. we don't see all the negative stuff. So I'm glad that you're able that's to talk to your true. sister. That's true. Yeah, we don't see it. It's much better if you both blind mm -hmm. in love than just one person being blind in love mm -hmm. then the other one really does mistreat you. It's, you know, it's, it's not a good thing. For sure. Mm -hmm. So now, of course, there are good white men and black men. Of course, we know yes, that. Yes, so yes, yes, do yes. you have a criteria that you follow when you're looking for that Mr. Right? Ah, uh, no, no. That is my problem. Uh, this is exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. This is what you need. You need your checklist because, you know, you have to know what you're not going to settle for. Uh. Because I think for women, and, and generalizing, I don't like to do that, but I think we are nurturers. We want to save everybody. We want to help everybody. We want to fix That's people. Mm -hmm. But in reality, we should be treated like queens. We should still give our love and help and support but at the same time we have to get it in turn and i think if we make a list of things that we won't settle for mm -hmm. simple things you know respect you know whatever it is that's important to you you know some people you know that person has to be employed the other maybe perhaps education whatever it is for you that's priority but uh, bottom line black or white men need to treat us with respect and because if you go into a relationship, one would hope it's a lifelong partnership. Mm -hmm. And I, I like the fact that you're thinking of your children. Absolutely. And that's something we have to make sure that you have the same value system, the same morals, that you want children, you know, because a lot of people don't want children mm -hmm. and if you don't find it right away. <laughs> that's a problem because yeah. you're madly in love all of a sudden. No, not yet. <laughs> exactly. And that, that becomes a problem. 
So I'm going to take it back here to our your job. So how can people get in touch with you to book a, a massage, pedicure, or manicure? All right. So we do have like on our website for Sheraton Hotel, like Sheraton Hotel, the hotel itself, because we are inside the hotel. Mm -hmm. So when you go and Google about Sheraton Hotel, then you will see the spa and our details as well over there. And everything in our packages, if you don't find any from there, we have a cell phone number. You can just call it and then we'll give you all our packages and prices.